The dramatic rescue captured on video, a 22-person crew hoisted from an oil tanker as their own cargo ship, the Felicity Ace, burned off the Portuguese coast. The Portuguese military says this airlift came after the ship reported a fire Wednesday morning. MarineTraffic.com shows the Felicity Ace was traveling from Germany to Rhode Island when the blaze started. For over two days, the vessel, which according to the Associated Press can carry more than 18,000 tons, left to float adrift in flames. A nearby port captain telling Reuters the smoking ship is carrying roughly 4,000 vehicles. Among the cars, luxury rides worth millions of dollars, including 189 Bentleys and over 1,000 Porsches. A Porsche representative telling NBC, our immediate thoughts are of relief that the 22 crew of the merchant ship Felicity Ace are safe and well, adding anyone concerned by this incident and the implications on the car they've ordered should contact their Porsche dealer. It makes me sad to think about uh, the cars that are out there, the cars that are not going to make it to their homes. Car lover and luxury auto show organizer Stuart Sobeck says many of those high-end cars are bespoke, custom made to order. How long would someone have been waiting for one of those luxury vehicles before this incident? But depending on the model, they might have been waiting six months or a year. And it all depends on what the model is. But these, these are very high-end cars, so this is probably not anybody that's going to miss out on their daily driver. Now, a better look at the damage. The Portuguese Navy sharing these photos of the firefight today. Smoke lingering, but the Navy still reporting no signs of pollution. You know, it's just... Uh, it's, it's a travesty, for sure, for anybody in the car world. Thankfully, the potential of burned out cars appears to be the biggest loss, with all 22 crew members saved. All right, Jesse joins us now uh, in studio. So, Jesse, a lot of questions here. But first off, do, do we know if any of those cars, and of course, we're happy that the crew was saved, but do we know if any of those cars are going to be salvaged and, and what's going to happen to that ship? Yeah, it, it's all clearly up in the air right now. When you look at those images, it's obvious there was damage done on board there. Porsche tells us that at this point, it's too early for them to know if any of their cars are, are safe, if any of them are severely damaged. Uh, we do know from the Portuguese Navy that Right now, they're trying to figure out how to tow this thing to where it was supposed to be going to Rhode Island uh, from Germany. So that's a concern right now. There's no one on board that ship. They have no idea, it sounds like, what exactly happened on board. Uh, but there are some car lovers who are really cringing at these images tonight. The red Lamborghini you ordered, what is, yeah. <laughs> what is, was it on the ship or no? Oh, wait, I just got No, that one's okay. It's that all good. Okay. good. All right, Jesse. Glad to know. <laughs> have a good one, man. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.